Hi everyone, <laughs> welcome to our first podcast. Um, so everyone introduce yourselves. Everyone take turns. Chris, say hello. Hi, I am Chris. I am Kathy's longest Twitch sub. I don't know about that one, but Keaton, say hello. Hello. I met Kathy through a friend of a friend. Yeah. Okay, Gordon, who is also Uwasa on the screen right now. Say hello. Hi. I'm a. Okay. <laughs> and finally, I mean, we have Effie and Alice. Say hello. Effie. And Alice is Soba, who's also on the screen right now. Say hi. Alice, and I'm a student. I survive. <laughs> okay. Um, so today's topic is dreams. We're going to be talking about our experiences with dreams and what we think of dreams. So do you guys personally enjoy dreaming? Chris? I'll be honest, <laughs> the fact that this is the first topic of the podcast, and I don't really dream that well. What do you mean by not dream that well? Well, I am not good with my imagination, so I can't vision. What? When people tell me, when people tell me to like, hey, close your eyes, envision, blah, blah, blah in front of you. I can't do that. But this so is more of your thing, like subconscious. But same thing, but, but, yeah, but same thing is going with my dreams. Um, I can't remember them. Oh, Nor do okay. I believe the whole like it tells the future garbage. Uh, I see. So you don't yeah. really like believe. I don't. Like... I mean, dreams. Obviously, everyone does them, but I don't really okay. care for okay. them. That being said, the weird ones always stand out, right? The sexual ones always. Stand out. <laughs> the wet dreams. Yeah, the wet dreams always stand out. But I don't think there's been a dream when I was little that was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna remember this one. You've had wet dreams though? I don't think I've ever had a wet dream. Not wet like dreams, that. but I think it's sexual, like when like, huh. you, like I don't know, you're you're messing with someone. Yeah. I I guess. Uh Keaton, do you like dreaming? I like dreaming. I I <laughs> kinda take the opposite approach. I think dreams can actually tell you a lot and it's just when you reflect back on them, I it, it tells you a lot about like what's bothering you or what you're experiencing in your life. So I personally like dreaming. So you think but, it's like reflected of what you're going through in life, like in real life? Yeah, like even if you consciously don't know it, I feel like subconsciously your mind can tell you a lot of things. That so you let me give you a scenario, know. Keaton. All right. <laughs> Let's say you had a dream. Yeah. And in that dream, you won the lottery and you remembered the digits for said lottery. So like, you know how in lottery you have to pick like several numbers? Right, right. So let's say you want it in your dream. Would you go out of your way to do it in real life? Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I mean, I I guess I, I would take that chance, but if it, it doesn't always have to be like that specific lottery ticket. It could be a, like, interpret dreams so many different ways like the lottery ticket could be just like a good omen it doesn't necessarily have to be like the physical lottery ticket or like a literal lottery ticket so. fair enough fair enough fair enough <laughs> i see <laughs> right, go manifest ahead, go it ahead. into existence you manifest it you're right ah, that's one way to take it i guess gordon do you dream mr not well <laughs> oh wow, we have a lot of, uh, you know. I I'm very <laughs> bad at dreaming actually. Like, you, and then when I do have dream? dreams, what's the last dream I remember? Ooh, my last dream was really sad. I don't want to talk oh, about no, it. Okay. Oh okay. No. See, oh, these are no. the only dreams that like happen though. Like, I don't have other dreams. I just have like a sad or scary dream like on occasion. So bad <laughs> dreams. Team? Is there a dream or a dream you would uh? That you're open to tell that you can remember? Oh me? Yeah. Uh yeah, I actually I'm like Gordon. I have a lot of like, like uh, more sad, sad dreams. Yeah, I don't hmm. But I'll I'll think about it and then if one comes to mind. <laughs> I'll think about it. <laughs> uh Effie, do you like dreaming? I don't think I've recalled you ever like talking about 
a dream, actually, for as long as I've known you. Which is a really long time, right? Yes. Um, I, I do dream. <laughs> I think what happens, though, for the majority is I wake up, I remember it for two minutes, and then I forget it once I'm actually wide awake. I think the only ones that I end up remembering are all the ones that are very scary in the sense <laughs> that it, I know it's something's bothering me. For example, I could be dreaming about like missing a, a really important meeting for work. Like I just don't call in or I don't oh. wake up in time for my 8 a.m. meeting. So those kind of dreams happen. I feel like those are a little bit more normal because I stress a lot about work. I think the ones that stand out the most or when I have kind of nightmares about, I don't know how they start, but I feel like <laughs> I stress out about grinding teeth when I'm asleep. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I've had a recurring dream where I would be grinding my teeth so hard that they would shatter. And then I'm left with like jagged pieces of teeth. And then the entire dream is me like spitting out those loose, shards it's very scary i mean that's kind of interesting because normally after you get scared you wake up but you go through the process of like your teeth is shattering and falling out which is yeah scary. and i dream the entire time it's just like me spinning up these shards have you guys ever woken up from a dream in the middle of the night though because i yeah. personally yeah. i've seen it in movies but like i don't think i can recall a time where i'm like oh shit, this is so bad like Really? Uh, You've never. I don't. Like, I I just haven't. I I don't dream like that. I guess. Huh. I feel like that only happens if you're lucid dreaming. Like. Wait, then am I always you lucid know, dreaming? Because <laughs> I think there's a a thing where you're dreaming and you know you're dreaming because you're like partially awake, and I think that's what happens when you have sleep paralysis where part of your brain is awake but the rest of your body is asleep so back in high school middle school i used to have sleep paralysis where i would feel awake and i would see shattery figures in my bedroom like i would see my door slowly open opening with a shadowy figure coming into my room and i would know that obviously this is fake but i feel like i can't move yeah, so I've never had sleep paralysis before. I don't know how that works. So are like your eyes physically open and you're seeing things and you can't move or are your eyes closed? My eyes have to be open, right? Because I'm seeing a shadow figure at the like the edge of my bed or coming into my room. So I think my eyes are open, but it's kind of weird because like I can't remember it all too well other than just seeing some kind of shadow person or like sometimes I feel like I'm and I guess maybe this is when I don't see a shadow figure but sometimes when I had sleep paralysis I would feel like I'm lev levitating off my bed so I guess in that case my eyes wouldn't be open but like it'd be a really weird sensation I, I mean from the way it sounds like like I feel like maybe your eyes were closed and you were dreaming of it, but I, I don't know. The only time I got sleep paralysis, my eyes were open, but I just couldn't move. I, I guess I wasn't even sleeping. I, I guess I was sleeping, but I wasn't dreaming per se. I was just like laying in bed and I couldn't get up no matter how I tried. I had it once, been... but it wasn't even scary. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't scary. Were I, you guys seeing have, like, things or no? Like I was not seeing anything. I was just staring at my wall and I just couldn't get up. I didn't see anything, but I like heard something like a crash. And, and then, crash. yeah, and then that's it. So you've also had sleep paralysis, Gordon. No, that was the one and only time. Oh. How about you, Alice? Have you had sleep paralysis? I I don't really have sleep paralysis, but remember the time when you were talking about if you have like such a bad nightmare that you just kind of have to wake up or like you try to force your body to wake up? Like, I've had more instances of that. So like, that's why I've actually been afraid to go to sleep sometimes just because like they can get extremely intense since i feel a lot of things that are like in my dreams so let's say like i'm running away from someone then i'll feel like my heart racing 
my feet like trying so hard to work its way like uh to run or like try to feel like i'm not being chased anymore and it it's like i wake up feeling really exhilarated but also at the same time like really afraid hmm so you do wake up from those dreams but uh I mean, it's kind of weird because Chris says he, he never does, but I feel like it's a very normal thing to wake up from that kind of stuff. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like when I go to sleep, I have that state where it's just like, I know I'm sleeping. But when you dream, do what? you know you're dreaming? For the most part. I know how my life is, usually. And I know, like, when a dream happens, like, I wouldn't be in this predicament that I'm in. So when you dream, do you have control of the dream? Because that's I like, say, that's something so different, right? That's like that's lucid dreaming. Uh, that's what yeah, it that's is. lucid dreaming. Yeah. No, I don't have lucid dreaming. Like obviously it's out of my control, but I kind of know myself well enough to be like, I don't know. Let's say I'm in a class field trip or something. I'd be like, this is real in a sense. Huh. I, I mean, in a sense, trip. I'm literally in college. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be in a field trip. But um, that being said, I kind of wanted to ask, like, how uh, how long do you guys, like, usually sleep? How long do we usually sleep? <laughs> yeah, like, like what's the <laughs> average time? Because I usually sleep, like, five-ish uh, hours? Six-ish? I, yeah, I'm around the same. And yeah. at most, like, let's say I'm extremely exhausted and I wake up, it's around, like, 12 to 15 hours. Oh. And then, oh. yeah, it's <laughs> 12 <laughs> to 15 <laughs> Ow. Wait, I, I'm like that too. I, I'm like six to seven normally, and then when I'm like really tired, like sleeping in, it's like twelve hours. Yeah. yeah. Like actually, like sound asleep, not just laying in bed. Yeah. Yeah. And like that is crazy. No response. Like oh every everyone will try to wake me up, but like I'll just be dead on my bed, and people will just check if I'm breathing, and that's it. People oh, I wake up. <laughs> that that's uh, concerning. How about you? Don't you get like eight every? Yeah, um, she likes it, to work. When I have work the next day, I try to get eight to nine hours just because I know that could get. It's hard for me to wake up on days I have to go to work. But during weekends, when I don't have work the next day, I tend to get maybe five hours of sleep, five to six hours. When you stay I think up. for me, it's more like my problem is even if I go to sleep later, I still wake up early. Like, my body naturally wakes up at 8.30, around 8.30. Hmm. Do you set an alarm clock, or is, like, your body just so accustomed to waking up at 8.30 that you don't even need one? So, see, that's the weird thing. Like, I have an alarm set up for during the work week, and I wake up because of my alarm. But on the weekends, I don't put any alarms, so I still wake up early. Yeah. Um... Alice, you said you have uh, bad dreams, right? And, and I know you play like Outlast and stuff because you sometimes stream it. But do you think that impacts like the way you dream? Maybe like you running away from stuff because you're always running away from stuff in Outlast. So, here's the interesting part. Most of the things, like my, uh, in this case, I guess nightmares or bad dreams, none of them really involve or like have the have any hint of it being from a scary game like Outlast. Like, huh. there's always someone that I've met who is involved within that dream, and then something really bad happens. Like, let's say um, we're both in a school and someone, like, bombed it or something and we're both trying to run away, and it's just like we're both strategizing away from, like, running down hallways to, like, trying to not meet people who are trying to also throw us into the fire and a safe way to get out of the school it's uh <laughs> it's a very extreme dream that's uh very scary okay. <laughs> what the heck <laughs> um but the next thing i wanted us to talk about is what do you guys think the concept of dreaming means because obviously there's no scientific proof of like what dreams are or what they mean and i know chris doesn't really believe wow. that it like <laughs> actually means anything but like yeah i'll stick with my statement i think it doesn't really mean anything <laughs> all right uh keaton well, what do you think yeah i stand by my original statement too i think that dreams really have meaning oh but like there's this quote i read a while back that 
it does probably doesn't have any scientific basis or anything, but it's just a nice sentiment where it's like if you dream of someone, it means that they're missing you, even but it's probably not. But it's just something nice to think about. Ooh. So you believe in that stuff like that? Uh, I I think I used to believe in it more, but I think it's just food for thought more now for me. Hmm. Do you guys believe in symbolism in dreams, though? I do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like the symbolism for everyone's different, though. Yeah, but yeah, I, I that's feel like there's true. Like, yeah, that is true. There are like some things that are like universal, like the like the, what the cat or whatever, just like some <laughs> cats, cats of cats what of. What do cats, cats have to do with this? Cats of death. Who invited oh, yeah. cats? Black cats. Death. Black cats and like you know how they visit like your bedroom, not bedroom, your uh your hospital bed and like you die or some shit. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, what? Yeah. Okay, never mind. That's a different topic. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh Y'all got God. black cats in your hospitals? <laughs> I wanna, oh, I wanna be on a, a hospital bed. Like if, die. if I the die and a black you. cat visits me, uh, uh, I don't mind. <laughs> I mean, I've heard black cats are quote unquote unlucky. Yeah, I've heard of it being unlucky, but thing. yeah. Wait, well, you guys yeah. ever heard of like the black the cat that like visits patients and then they die and they pass away? I think Chris watches no? too many animes. Okay. okay, that's not even an anime. It was IRL. <laughs> Are people. you sure, bro? I I would hope so. Maybe, uh, maybe that was a dream shit. <laughs> oh well, Gordon, do, what do you think? You know, what are dreams look, to you? Look, I I don't know. I feel like <laughs> this. People are always like. This dream means this, this dream means this. I feel yeah. like from person to person, the same dream can mean two very different things. Exactly. Like personal so, like, experience. Yeah. So I feel like if I'm running in a dream and someone else is running from a dream, that's really vague. Like, what are we running from? Why yeah. are we running? Like, I don't think there's any one answer to what dreams mean, but I it's... feel like it's our brain trying to comprehend something that we just can't. I think it's funny you mentioned that because every time I tell my girlfriends about my dream, she's like, "What happened? What color were you wearing? Let me Google this." And I'm like, "What oh, color? Like, what yeah. color?" Like she's literally like that, and I'm just like, "I don't think it's that deep." Like she like asked me these information, and I'm like, uh... "And then she's like, it looks like you're anxious and you're running away from something." And I was like, "Really?" But I was just like patting my cat on the head or something. <laughs> like she gets these like obscure stuff. I uh, yeah, I don't I don't know. Sometimes. I guess people look into dreams a little too much, if you ask me. Yeah, that that's true. Well, I think it depends on what kind of dream it is, though. Because, like, if we think about what Kian said earlier, I feel like definitely worries or things that are stressful in life do appear in dreams. Um, of course, like, I can't say too much about, you know, good things in life or other things that we might be subconsciously thinking about, but if I think about my kind of dreams, yes, I stress out about work, and yes, I dream about work because of those stress. And for all those nightmares about like having broken or shattered teeth, it's probably because I have a somewhat rational fear of dentists now, given how much dental work I've had on my teeth in the past several years. So I do think that dreams in a way, for in some types of dreams, they they are about all the worries that you have. So I think that's, I mean, what everyone's leaning towards. I think all of you guys think that um, dreams reflect, you know, your stress in in real life. Um, is that the same for you, Alice? I'd say it's more like anything that seemed really prominent in your life or want to have back in your life that like you thought about uh, consciously but also like it was just stuck in the back of your mind. Like um, I remember I had a dream with my uh, pastor roommate and it was we were just sitting down talking and eating and it was like a really nice dream where we were both laughing and having fun. Mm -hmm. But, like, in reality, we don't necessarily have that great of a friendship. But to me, it just seemed like, oh, like, I actually would like it if I had this sort of friendship back. So. So it's something you're, like, hopeful of or want. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Or something that, like, I didn't know that I deeply wanted. 
but the dream kind of told me in a way that I do. So it helps you realize things in a way? Yeah, like what my true desires are and like how that would come into light. I see. I, I think sometimes <laughs> for me when I dream, I, I feel like there's a parallel universe. I swear to God, <laughs> some of the stuff that happened to me, I was like, I swear I just died in another universe <laughs> and I just felt the impact. But oh, that, so dreams are like <laughs> alternate universe me. Yeah, like you know Rick and Morty, like a different number <laughs> version of myself. Um, how many do you think are out there? Do you think I'm running oh low? Is that why I don't dream a lot? <gasps> I'm are you going on other me? other Gordons? Oh, you're big Oh, brain. you're going extinct, Gordon. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Quick. I'm a dying species. Reproduce. Oh well, wait, you're a minor. Never mind. Cut that out. <laughs> uh, just um, reproduce asexually. Yeah, yeah. I'm just buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, the last thing I wanted to talk about was um, what was the most interesting dream you guys had? I don't know if you guys really had interesting dreams, but anyone have like a really interesting or wild one that they want to share? I don't think my dreams are interesting. I can't really remember my dreams that well. Yeah, I I feel like if it was interesting enough, I'd remember it, but yeah. the only the one, one I remember, I remember is the sad one. Yeah, the <laughs> only one I remember that was recent was like, I was in a bus with my friends, and then some dude tried to kiss me. <laughs> And I was like, whoa, what? bro, what? sorry, I have a girlfriend. What? I'm like, hey, I'm sorry. And then the bus driver hit a Hummer straight on. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah, Is this your internalized homophobia? I don't know what the fuck it was, but then, uh, but then oh the bus driver God. hit a, like, a Hummer straight on and he kept on driving away. <laughs> the police ca caught up to us and um, the bus driver was, like, I saw the bus driver out the window, like, on his knees, like, you know, with the whole like arms behind his head shit. And then I spent the last 30 and then I spent the next 30 minutes in like the ghetto and then I punched some gang dude and then I got beat up oh. and then I spent the last 20 minutes looking for my cat. I'm still hung up on the what? whole like the bus driver was sending the execution style. What? <laughs> yeah, it was weird. That was, oh my god. Like I said, only the weird ones stand out, but I think that one's just most recent. That's the only reason I remember it. <laughs> the things normal people do. <laughs> Dream Normal, about, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then there's Chris. <laughs> oh, I, I, that... It was definitely interesting. I can say that. <laughs> That's Let's so weird, because no one really has like absurd dreams. Because I've had you know, a couple. I, think, I, I, I thought it was common, and then uh, and then about out of nowhere, I like took out like Lego bricks out what? of the back of my um. Or the back of my Nintendo Switch, and I don't even know how I got my Switch. And I didn't even remember having my cats in the bus to begin with. So I don't know why the fuck I was looking for my cats. But, uh, yeah. That was the only dream I can remember. I wish I had innocent dreams like that. I think I've shared this before. I think the strangest dream I've had was when I was in middle school, meaning I was very young. What, what's middle school age? Like, 13? 14 maybe give or take um, and i remember like in my dream i got up to pee to go to the bathroom to pee for some reason i didn't turn out the lights and sometimes i do that in real life so it was really realistic because when you turn on the lights in the bathroom the vents go off and i didn't want to wake up my mom because she's a very light sleeper so i did that in the dream but then when I was peeing, I saw my mom's head in the toilet, and oh. it was oh. very bloody, oh. and her body was in the tub. And when I woke up, I was just like, huh? Because, you know, at the time, I was very young. But I mean, no matter what age I am, that dream is That's like... terrifying. I'm like, huh? That is extremely terrifying. But I think Wait, that was one of the craziest dreams I've I mean, I've had other ones, but 
I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I haven't dude. had like crazy dreams, but like, have you guys had like hyper realistic dreams? Like, I don't know why, but there was this like one week or two where I kept waking up in my dream and like it just felt like I woke up normally. So it's like I'd wake up and then I grab my phone and there'd be a message and then I'd wake up again in real life and then there's nothing there. <gasps> Inception. So that was, that happened for like a week straight and it was like terrifying. What? No, I, I, I've never had that. <laughs> what? That's just... the only like dream I remember. Honestly, I could I could imagine it and that is very terrifying. It kept like tripping me up because like You're like, oh I, I'd I'm waking up wake now. Up, <laughs> and then I'd wake up again. And when I wake oh. when I woke up the first time, it literally felt like I was waking up for the like for real. That's crazy. I uh, I can imagine it. That's that's just very trippy. Are 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 you sure you weren't on like shrooms or something, Mister Miner? I wish I was. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I was. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, well, this podcast is uh going a little over time. Do you guys have anything else you would like to share or talk about real quick before we say our goodbyes? Oh, I mean, I was gonna share. A yeah, go ahead. Your dream that I. <laughs> um, what happened? But so you know, in Portal Two, how if you shoot portals, then you can go through them. Yeah. I had I basically was the protagonist of Portal Two, except I was apparently running away from the self who the past self in that case, and future me was trying to run using what? the portals yeah it was really weird and every time i looked back i'd see my past self and she was running <gasps> towards me and then i'd have to run away from her but i had to use the portals to make sure that i was getting away quickly enough Shadow so cell. it was very very weird but That's so creepy <laughs> Your Wait. inner demon was yourself all along. <laughs> oh no! No, thank you. Was it like a younger version of yourself? No, not even that. It was basically the same version of myself, just seconds away though. And oh. there was yeah, and there was a robot. I forgot the robot's robot. name in Portal Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Telling me that like if I don't do it, then I'm going to die on the spot. So I was like, oh <laughs> god, no. Okay. I think you played <laughs> too much Portal. <laughs> what? Or or maybe you watch too many portal streamers. I don't know, dude. Honestly, I, you know what? I probably went w way too far with Portal Two and thought of too many scenarios uh -huh. that it happened in. It just manifested in a dream like that. I I think that happens pretty often too, where you like do too much of something in real life, or like think about something too much. And then you go to sleep, and you're still thinking about it, you know? So you dream of it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Since it's the one thing that has been reoccurring and like, really present on your mind, so... I see, I see. I don't, I don't really have that happen too often, I think. I don't dream that often. Um... Alright, does anyone else have anything they'd like to share? Okay. <laughs> Not really. All right. Not really. We could say our goodbyes then. Thank you, everyone. If, if uh, you did get this far and listen to our boring talking, I love my fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I expect a lot of fans after this one. Yeah, same, same. All right. Yeah, I can refresh the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone sub. Everyone give this video a like. Increase um, all those views. And hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Um, let us know if you guys have any weird dreams or what, what you guys think about dreaming or lucid dreaming. Suggestions. Ask for suggestions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Say bye, everyone. Good night. Bye. 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 bye.